What would you say if I told you you could 3D print your own air assist for the ortho laser? Would you call me crazy? Would you call me nuts? Maybe both. Well, I tell you what, let's jump into this together and I'll explain. Welcome to this episode of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, I'm excited to share this with you guys finally. I've put a lot of work into this design uh, because you guys have requested it and you're the viewers and you're my boss. So with that being said, here we are. And I'll have this out on Thingiverse. Now, be forewarned, this is a minimal viable product. So it does work. Uh, however, it can be better and I will work to make it better. Now, this is designed to be printed on an FDM printer and one of the things you have to get a pretty clean print because I'm going to explain a little bit about how this guy works. So you really have three parts to this. You have the air nozzle itself, which is this guy. You have the air inlet, which is this. And then you have the lens holder, which is this, which all comes together to form this unit over here. Now, the way that this works is your lens will thread into the lens holder. Now, one of the pieces, this has got to be pretty high tolerance because one of the things you notice, this is a very small hole at the end. So this has to be very square. So one of the pieces, while you can kind of press fit it in there, and I did design it that way so the possibility exists, it really should be tapped. Now, the tap's like about 14 bucks on Amazon. I'll have a link to it down below uh, because this lens has to sit basically perfectly square in this holder so the beam doesn't intersect the side you know so if it's not straight the beam's going to hit the side it has got to go through this little tiny hole in the bottom so with that being said once you tap this insert the lens what happens is this goes in your laser and you focus it and then once it's focused you slide the air cap on and what happens is this lens holder sits on a ridge in here so one of the challenges I have is this ridge is so small that the support material kind of fouls um, the connection because it's again it's got to be perfectly flat. So it's going to take a little bit more work I think for me to figure this all out but I've kind of got it good enough again as a minimal viable product. So this, this basically sits in here, squares up with that and you have an M3 screw here which the threads are modeled in the air nozzle and this tightens on and again there's very there's basically no play and there can be basically no play in this so it has to be pretty snug to fit on there because again you got to get that beam to go through that little tiny hole now once you do that Bob's your uncle and you're all set now I don't most of the material or when I'm cutting or engraving with my um, ortho laser uh, you know, it's pretty much the same height, so I don't have to change it too much. So once I set the initial focus, you know, I'm going to run out my jobs for that and before I have to change it. So it's not a huge problem. Now, the other piece, and I'll have a link for this down below, you really need to use silicone tubing to connect to this because it is so flexible. Vinyl tubing is very restrictive and will pull on this. And again, if you pull on this, what happens? This will be pulled out of true and the laser beam is going to go through your air assist nozzle rather than out of it now the other thing be very careful this is PLA this will burn your laser will cut this this is black and one of the things that I'm going to experiment with is using you know a clear maybe a PLA or PEG or other material and probably when I get to my SLA version I will use a clear material uh, for that and I think the SLA version will work work better. I just simply haven't had time to work on an SLA version and an FDM version. Now I picked the FDM version first because a lot of people have FDM printers out there and I wanted to address you know that market if you will first. So again I probably have been running some uh, overlays in the corner of this on the machine and again I've used several different versions of this it does work uh, I suggest it more so for cutting than engraving I would not use it for engraving because you know what happens is it can change the burn effect of the engraving so this is predominantly for cutting and again if you're engraving and uh, you can leave it on or in just no air or you can simply remove it and set it to the side which is the other great feature of this and just leave the lens barrel inside 
So hopefully you found this video interesting. I'll have the Thingiverse link to this down below so you can go out there, get it. Um, comments, suggestions, improvements, uh, please share them. I'd be interested to hear them. I'd really like to improve this to get this better. And with that, hey, if you found this of value, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, swag shop somewhere up there. And we'll catch you guys in the next video where we do something else cool. And trust me, it will be cool. Cheers. Please click like below and subscribe to the channel to keep up to date on all of our projects.